Hi there yogis, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and today's class is a combination of functional core work and balancing postures and they're weaved into the flow and these postures are really helpful for improving your coordination, obviously your balance but also stability around your centre of gravity so great for your posture as well. I hope you enjoy. Namaste. And begin your practice kneeling at the back of your mat, setting your knees up, hip distance apart, and sitting your buttocks down on your heels. And you can take a blanket underneath your buttocks if uh, your knees don't flex so deeply, or simply sit cross-legged until we start moving. Placing your hands in the lap, and just gently closing the eyes, drawing your chin in toward your chest elongating your spine from the back of your skull all the way down to your tailbone and feel a brightness across your chest collarbones wide shoulders relaxed and softening the expression in your face and start to deepen your breath breathing in and out through the nostrils And perhaps exaggerating your out breath just as a way of settling in and coming into stillness. And just taking one more deep breath in and out. As you breathe out, chin drops in toward your chest, eyes to the back of your eyelids. Gently blink the eyes open, let the light in and bring yourself upright. Take your hands interlaced at your heart centre, drawing into a fist, elbows out wide to the side, take a deep breath in and as you exhale draw the fists away round your spine, gently lean back. As you inhale send the arms up overhead, reach tall turning your hands inside out and as you breathe out hands behind the back and interlace your fingers. Take a deep breath in, lift and open your chest, little arch in the spine. And as you breathe out, forward fold over the thighs and just letting your arms float away from your back in your comfortable range of motion. Shoulder heads lifting. And as you breathe in, coming all the way back up, keeping the hands interlaced and turning your palms down toward the floor as you breathe out. Once more, just like that, hands into a fist at your heart centre. Deep breath in. Slow breath out, dome your spine. Inhale, arms up overhead, reach up tall, long through the sides of the waist, and as you breathe out, hands behind the back, interweaving the fingers. Breathing in, lifting your heart, and breathing out, forward fold. Deep breath in as you come up, slow breath out, hands toward the floor. Next breath in, release the hands up overhead, lift the hips above the knees and as you breathe out take your left arm back and your right arm forward, take a mild twist through the spine. Inhale arms back up overhead alongside your ears, reach up tall. And as you exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale back, arms overhead. And as you exhale, take both hands to the floor and set up in tabletop pose. Hands underneath the shoulders, your knees placed underneath your hips, hip distance apart. Just a few rounds of cat and cow warming up through the spine, the wrists and the shoulders, arching the spine as you breathe in. Rounding the spine as you breathe out. Arching, softening the belly, sending the gaze up. And slow breath out, hugging in and up through the belly, connecting to your abdominal muscles. Back to neutral spine as you breathe in. And then just take your forearms down to the floor. 
set your elbows shoulder distance apart and point all your fingers forward so there's a space between the thumbs all your fingers spread walk your feet back drop your seat and bring your body parallel with the floor into forearm plank you can modify here with the knees on the floor if you're still working on your upper body core strength concentrate on drawing the front ribs in the front of the pelvis up and lengthening your tailbone down toward your heels so you feel full in the low back spine. We'll take three deep breaths. You'll feel a little lighter if you can push the floor away with your forearms and the balls of your toes, everything that you've got in contact with the man. Keeping a straight line through the spine to the back of your skull so your gaze is lightly forward. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, soften the knees to the floor and melt all the way down. Draw your forearms forward just a little forward of the shoulders and come into a mild arch through the spine in Sphinx Pose. Legs can be separated here. Do activate the leg muscles, tops of the toes pressing down, kneecaps lift, legs engaged. And then press the pelvis down and gently start to lift up through the chest, drawing your chest forward through the arms. Keeping the back of your neck long and unwrinkled, just stretching out through the front of your spine. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, hands by your ribs, elbows tucking in. Gently lean your weight back and make your way into child's pose, Balasana. Knees can be a little wider than your hips here. Allowing your torso to settle down in between your thighs. And keep it quite active here, your arms reaching forward, stretching to the edge of your fingers. As you lean your buttocks back toward your heels, feel length through the sides of your waist, through the armpits. And relax and soften your facial muscles. And across the top of your shoulders. And this is your rest pose, so if you need to take a break, or do less anytime during the class feel free to return here and just join back in the flow whenever you're ready as you feel yourself breathe in gaze forward between your hands check your hands are shoulder width apart all your fingers spread and coming up onto all fours tuck the toes and make your way into your first downward facing dog And just placing your feet hip distance apart, lightly spinning your heels out and keep a light bend in the knees, dragging your torso toward your thighs, lengthening through your spine, relax your head right at the end of your spine and find a soft steady gaze, tune into your breath. And you're regulating your breath so you have an even rhythm, cadence of your breath is even in tempo. And then a little bend in the knees there, walk your hands back to your feet at the back edge of your mat. Land your heels when you arrive. Easy forward fold, catching hold of opposite elbows and just dangle here, torso sitting on your thighs. And any movement that feels good, perhaps a little sway side to side. Bending, straightening the legs. And smoothing out through the soles of your feet. and placing a bend in your right knee and your fingertips just in front of your right foot go ahead take the left hand up toward the ceiling and work towards straightening your left leg without locking your left knee back just taking a twist through the spine through the upper back perhaps sending the gaze up take a deep breath in and exhale, left hand to the floor, switching sides, right hand to the sky, soft bend in your left knee now. 
spiraling the chest to the rind, belly button to the rind. Get really long through the torso here from your hips all the way to your shoulders. Deep breath in. And exhale to forward fold. Rolling up through ragdoll, let your arms go floppy, knees bent and stacking one vertebra at a time as you come all the way up. Reach the arms up overhead when you arrive, stretch up tall. And as you exhale, take your hands to your heart. We'll just flow through a little bit of core work here. A couple of rounds, deep breath in, send the arms up overhead, send the gaze up. And as you exhale, dive forward, arms out wide, firm belly, flat back. As you inhale, gaze forward and walk your hands forward to the top edge of your mat, making your way into plank pose. Balancing your shoulders over your wrists, reaching out through your heels and hugging in and up through the belly. So taking a deep breath in here, raise the right leg. And as you exhale, draw the right knee in toward your chest. Squeeze in and then step back. Left leg rises, breathe in. Exhale, core lunge, squeeze in through the belly and step back. Take a deep breath in here. Three low push-ups, please modify with your knees to the floor if you need to. As you breathe out, lower to a hover, your elbows tucking in and as you inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up. Activating your core muscles here. Exhale, lower, hover, and push back up. Downward facing dog. Hips up and back, heels heavy. And go ahead, walk your hands back to your feet there at the back of the mat. Feet stay set up, hip distance apart. And now just take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, big bend in the knees there, and forward fold, drop your head. Lay your torso on your thighs and send the fists up toward the ceiling, lifting the shoulder heads up away from the man so you give your neck lots of space and room. Releasing your hands to the floor, take a halfway lift. Hands can come to the shins there, flat back, straight legs, and exhale, fold over the legs. Pushing down through your feet, rise to stand, sweeping the arms out and up overhead. Send the gaze up, exhale, hands to the heart. One more round, just like that, arms overhead, breathe in. Exhale, dive forward over the legs, Uttanasana. As you inhale, gaze forward and walk yourself out to the top edge of the mat, coming into blank plank pose. Legs are strong here, so you're equalizing the energy and the effort through your body, staying steady. Right leg lifts as you breathe in. Exhale, knee to the nose, breathe out. Inhale, step back. Exhale, pause. Left leg rises, breathe in. Left knee to the nose, breathe out. Inhale, step back, plank pose. Exhale, pause. Three low push-ups, knees to the floor if you need to. Inhale here. Exhale, low push-up. Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower. And try and keep your elbows balanced over the wrists here. You'll have your bones stacked. Feel a little lighter. Last one here. And then hips up and back, downward facing dog. Stretch back, long out through the arms. Spread all your fingers. And just feel an upward energy from the very center of your palms all the way up your arms to your armpits and from your armpits all the way down the sides of your waist and from your sit bones all the way down to your heels. Take one more deep breath in, looking forward. And at the end of your exhale, bend the knees, step lightly forward to the top edge of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. And exhale to fold over the legs. Inhale to rise all the way to stand, Urdhva Hastasan. Exhale, hands to your heart. 
two half forward folds, arms overhead, breathe in, exhale, forward fold, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, refold, staying with your breath, arms overhead, long breath in, fill up, reach up, exhale, your hands to your heart. One more round, inhale, arms overhead, breathe in. Exhale, dive forward. Just cultivating that steady cadence to your breath as you move. Halfway lift and refold. Reach and rise to stand, breathe in. And this time, hands to your hips as you breathe out. Step your feet together here. You're going to balance on your right foot. Catch your left knee in toward your chest. Extend your tailbone down toward your heel of the right foot. Firm in the muscles of your abdominals. <clears throat> and stay bright and open in the chest. Make your way into tree pose. Externally rotating your left knee out. And your left foot can sit in our upper thigh of the right leg or below your knee, <clears throat> or tap the toe to the floor. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hands to the heart centre, nice steady gaze forward, finding your balance, embracing any wobbles, resetting if you need to. Steady focus. One more smooth breath in and out here. As you feel yourself breathe out, step the left foot back, come into high lunge. Keeping the hands at the hips until you're steady. Right foot can move over to the right so you're not on a narrow rail here. You've got a wider center of gravity. And then once you balance, send the arms up alongside your ears. Feel your breath expand into the ribs, your ribs moving with your breath. And just experimenting with a little bend in the back knee to feel for a balance through the pelvis, engaging through the abdominal muscles. And take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, send your right arm back and your left arm forward for a mild twist. To challenge your balance, send the gaze out to the right. Reach the back palm back a little further so you're really expanded across your chest. As you breathe in, slow movement back to center, high lunge, arms reach up. And then anchor your back heel, press your palms, open out warrior two. Arms out to a T, lengthen your stride. 12 o'clock with your right foot. Lunging deep. And extending from the pelvis all the way to the knees so you feel a light stretch through the inner thighs. Take two more breaths here. As you inhale, straighten your front leg, perhaps shortening your stride just a step. And then hinge out over the midline of your front leg. Take your right hand either just below the knee or to your shin or to the floor for trikonasan. Extend your left arm straight up toward the ceiling, stacking the shoulders. And extending to the edge of your ring finger there on the left hand. Crown of the head reaches forward. Chest stays open, bright, lungs available as you breathe. And each time you breathe out, just feeling a light firmness in your belly. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, left hand to your left hip here. And send the gaze down. Take your right hand forward of your right foot and a little over to the right. 
and start to balance in half moon Ardha Chandrasana slowly raising your left leg flexing your toes and keeping the lifted leg active both legs straight and then start to revolve very gently to your left side perhaps even sending the gaze up to your left hand smooth breath in exhale left hand to the floor and square off there left hip rolls down and then lightly step the left foot back so you're in a runner's lunge keep the fingers forward off the top edge of your man and we're going to do a little a few little calf taps these are great for the quads and the glutes so placing a bend in your right knee and once you've got that bend in your right knee keep it there fingertips on the floor just to support you go ahead tap your left knee to the back of your right calf and then just step back and then pick up the pace holding your right leg nice and firm lightly bent knee over the ankle just tapping away until you feel a little bit of warmth circulating around the top of the thigh perhaps in the glutes there as well rest coming up stick with it a couple more and then as you draw your left knee in take the left knee to the outside of your right foot and come to sit for Ardha Matsyandrasana as you sit down place both sit bones on the floor and see if you can get the whole sole of your right foot on the floor take your right fingertips behind you extend your left hand up toward the ceiling reach tall and as you exhale either hug the front knee or hinge your elbow to the outside of the right leg taking a twist and taking a few breaths to arrive in your twist not forcing your twist staying upright through the spine and breathing in a way that moves your ribs wide laterally creating a little more space through the spine one more deep breath in exhale send the gaze forward plant the hands and step quietly back to downward facing dog and just pedal out your heels find balance through the body with a little bit of movement and then making your way into stillness settling in Take a deep breath in looking forward and at the end of your exhale soft bend in the knees walk yourself forward to the top edge of the man when you arrive inhale Ardha Uttanasana exhale and fold over the legs Uttanasana inhale rise to stand come all the way up stretch your body tall and as you exhale hands to your hips stepping the toes together left foot to the midline of the man catch your right knee in toward your chest and just find your balance there if you are feeling a little wobbly today feel free to just tap the toe to the floor making your way into Vriksasana tree pose asymmetrical balance right foot either in upper thigh or below the knee I'm trying to stay nice and level through the hips finding a steady gaze point for your eyes and conscious of activating the mu muscles around the midline of your body so you're not tense there you can just still feel your breath moving in your ribs your belly stays firm stable at the very center of your body one more smooth breath in and as you exhale step your right foot back into high lunge and just find your balance there with your hands on your hips left foot a little over to the left 
deep lunge in the front leg, keeping your left knee over your ankle and staying on the balls of your back toes, right thigh lifting up in space. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, send the left arm back, your right arm forward and slowly revolve. A little bit of a balance, deep hip flexor stretch as well. And just attempting to send your gaze out to the left if you can, or even toward the back hand, moving slow. And then we'll flow, arms up overhead, face forward, breathe in, high lunge. Exhale, press the palms, ground your back heel, warrior two. Just ensure your left knee is pointing forward so you've got steady alignment through the front knee. Weights in your heels here. And allow the hips to sink, perhaps even lengthening your stride. Couple of breaths here, shoulders relaxed. Gaze is steady out over the left middle finger. Staying easy and comfortable in your body. Inhale, straightening your front leg. Exhale, hinge out over your front leg, triangle pose, trick or nasan. So try and keep uh, on that same plane, that lateral pain, so you don't turn and face your belly button toward the floor. It's pointing out. You've got a breadth across your collarbones, through the reach of your arms. And you can feel the crown of your head dragging forward in line with the rest of your spine. Slow transition here as you take your right hand to your right hip and send the gaze down. Left fingertips off the front edge of your mat, preparing to balance half moon. Once your left hand's down, slowly raise the right leg, flex your toes. And balancing in half moon, raise the right leg a little higher and keep the left standing leg strong without locking your knees. So your quads are engaged there. Gaze can turn up here if you're feeling steady. One more deep breath in. And exhale, fingertips to the floor, just off the front edge of your mat. And just land very lightly into a lunge. Right foot steps down. A bend in your left knee, your left knee right over your ankle for the calf taps. Working a little bit of heat now into the left side, glutes and quad muscles. Take a tap, right knee to the back of your left calf and then step back, pick up the pace. So left leg stays exactly where it is. Your knee bent without moving, right legs tapping away. Just a couple more. And then next time your right leg comes in, place it to the outside of your front foot and come to sit for Ada Matsyandrasana, Half Lord of the Fish Pose. It's a twist, taking your left fingertips behind you, whole sole of the left foot's now on the floor, right hand to the ceiling, breathe in. And as you exhale, take your twist and incrementally come around with your breath. Deep breath in, lengthen your spine slow breath out to gently revolve spiraling through the ribs the upper back and then finally your neck sending the gaze out of your left shoulder letting your energy settle as you breathe out and one more deep breath in Exhale to release and from here unravel the legs and go ahead step back to downward facing dog. Pedal out through your heels, bring that balance back into your body, shake out your head and if you've got a sigh just letting it out of your mouth, letting go so you can just really reset here. And as you feel yourself breathe out, lower your knees to the floor and bring your feet around in front of you. So you're sitting in the middle of your mat. Knees bend, feet both on the floor and feet about hip distance apart here. 
and then really lift up through your chest so you're very proud in the chest along through your spine diagonal line from the back of your skull to your tailbone taking your hands into a fist interlacing the fingers and then just sweep the hands over to the left side and then over to the right side so your feet are on the floor you've got a little bit of stability but concentrate on staying really upright through the spine firm belly as you twist and work your oblique muscles your spinal muscles either side of the spine if you want to make it a little bit more challenging find the soft part of your buttocks and raise the legs into a half boat you're still working on your core strength feet can stay on the floor here and you still get all the good work around the side waist one more each side and back to center feet can come down to the floor <clears throat> just reset hug the knees in toward your chest lift tall through your spine stretch up pushing into your seat and then rock back onto the soft part of your buttocks this time raise the legs into a half boat right angle from the calf to the back of your leg and again lift tall through your spine a modification here would just to keep your hands behind the back of your knees for a little bit more support so if you feel like you start to slouch take that support so you can stay upright through the spine otherwise hands alongside your calves take a deep breath in squeeze the knees together and then tap the right toe to the floor lift up back to boat and then left toes to the floor so just start to move or alternate stay very tall through your spine gaze steady and catch a hold anytime you need to if you feel like you start to round and slouch through the spine very good for your abdominal muscles and also your spinal muscles here one more each side and then feet to the floor hug the knees in lift up tall through your spine so just making sure you're in the middle of the mat here we're just really slowly going to roll down onto our back hug the knees in keep your feet about hip width apart just give yourself a squeeze in and then from here we're just going to take a few rock and rolls i'm going to try and attempt to come all the way up and into a half lift standing so just get a little bit of momentum roll back through the entire length of your spine and just keep rocking until you feel like you've got enough momentum to come all the way up onto your feet take a halfway lift and exhale to fold rise to stand breathe in stretch out tall and as you breathe out fold forward over the legs inhale coming up halfway and then making your way into malasana yogi squat so knees out wide toes turn out and just sitting down any amount on the back of your legs hands can come to your heart center elbows to the inside of your knees and you can rock a little side to side until you can nestle in lovely one for lengthening your spine elongating your spine here so the tailbone sinks down toward the floor crown of the head pulls up and you're gently extending lengthening the muscles through from the groins through the inner thighs so you can stay here just a couple more breaths or if you'd like to get some air you can take your hands down shoulder width apart setting up for crow pose here I like to take my toes together knees squeeze into your upper arms as high as you can get them and curl yourself into a little ball and then sending the gaze forward start to rock forward so you feel your elbows balance over your wrists and keeping the gaze forward raising one foot and then the other or perhaps just one at a time getting that feeling that you're really hollowing out through your belly your spine is domed one more deep breath in last bit of effort here and as you exhale place the feet down 
and you're just making your way all the way down onto your back from here you might like to shift back into the middle of your mat mm, knees bent feet to the floor and feet hip width apart slightly pigeon toed preparing for bridge pose arms alongside the body spine in one straight line Take a deep breath in here, send the arms overhead, reach back and as you breathe out bring the hands forward, flatten out through the low back spine, keeping that shape in the low back as you breathe in, lift your hips and get the feeling that your thighs are parallel with one another and you're lifting all the way up through the front of your spine so the chest moves toward your chin. And take a deep breath in, exhale slowly peel down and tuck the knees in toward your chest, take a little rock side to side. And then feet to the floor, second bridge, arms alongside your body, heels a little closer to your buttocks if you'd like a stronger back bend here feet a little further away if you need a little bit more room this morning for your low back spine trying to find an even arch through your spine as you lift arms overhead breathe in exhale hands to the floor flatten out through the low back spine inhale lifting the hips and breathing deep sending your breath into the front of your lungs here And this pose is very complementary to the abdominal work we've just done. We're lengthening the abdominal muscles so you have <clears throat> strong and supple muscles through the front of your body. You're also working the glutes which help to support the pelvis and your low back spine. Working the hamstring muscles as well, lifting up to the front of your thighs. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, peel down, separating the shoulder blades and hugging the knees in toward your chest. And taking your feet to the floor, we'll just take an easy twist here. Place the feet together, your knees together, arms out wide to the side, and then lift the hips and take the knees over to your left. Just stacking the knees here making sure your spine's in one straight line and then rolling on the back of your head to send the gaze out over your right middle finger and close your eyes here, here at the end of the practice. Big breath out, releasing any gripping in the legs. One more smooth breath in. Exhale, firm the belly and make your way back up. And feet to the floor, just setting up for the second side. Shift your hips a little to the left. And taking the knees over to your right now. And any little wriggles that you need to make to ensure your spine's in one straight line. Then send the gaze out over your left middle finger, perhaps even closing the eyes here. <clears throat> Letting go through the legs so they feel heavy. Calming the breath. So you can feel your belly move now with your breath. And then just very gently rolling back onto your back. Knees in toward your chest, knees quite wide here. And catching the outer edges of your feet, turning the soles of your feet toward the ceiling for happy baby or dead bug. Drawing the knees down toward your armpits. And if you do have a little air underneath the low back spine, you'd like to massage that area out, just lifting your head rocking forward a little and just take a very gentle rock side to side, nothing too adventurous, hold your balance. 
or just resting your head back and enjoying that deep stretch through the inner thighs. And then taking the soles of your feet together, catch a hold of your ankles, reaching through in between your legs there, and then lift your head and working toward taking the outer edges of your feet down toward the mat you shaping the spine stretching out through the shoulders letting your arms go straight and then rest back hug the knees in and feet to the floor extend your body out taking the heels out to the corner edges of the mat preparing for shavasana your rest pose Take a few minutes here at the end of your practice to really incorporate all the benefits of your practice today. Placing your hands a little away from the body, palms face up, and adjusting the length of your spine so you feel very straight through the midline of your body. Your legs and your arms falling away evenly from that midline, gently shutting down the eyes. And resting. Sensing a softness Creep over the bridge of your nose and out to your ears. Softening the space between the eyebrows and the corners of your eyes. Feel your jaw relax. And letting that feeling of relaxation Travel down into the neck and shoulders. Down the arms. The palms and let your fingers curl in toward your palms, totally relaxed. Completely resting your breath so there is no effort. Just sensing your natural, spontaneous breath. Letting your belly rise and fall with the ebb and flow of your breath. Relaxing your pelvis, letting go of any gripping in the buttocks. And relaxing all your effort from your legs. Heels are heavy. Soles of the feet relaxed. And maintaining that total body awareness. As you rest quietly here. And let go. Namaste, yogis.